Hey, what's going on everybody? We're back here. I just want to go ahead and uh, do a quick update on this. Uh, sorry, it's messy up here, but this is my solar battery room. Solar battery room and, you know, controller room and all this stuff. And it's real messy up here, but I got to work on that. But either way, this is that die hard that we got from the uh, scrapyard the other day. It got all cleaned up and everything, cleaned it out and, and uh, changed the acid out of it. And you can see I've got it clearly unhooked right here. And I've got the voltmeter hooked up. Now, what I wanted to do is I want to see if I can get this propped up on here and show you after a couple of days. We, we got this on Saturday, and we, we went ahead, and I'm going to have to hold this right here. But we went ahead, and you can see now I'm about ready to touch over here on this one. I got the negative under my hand, so I'm touching here. But we went ahead and we got this uh, charged up and everything. And it's been sitting now. My hand's kind of wobbling. So it's going to read a little bit inconsistent here. But we changed the acid and everything out. And have this sitting here. And it's been sitting now for a little while. It doesn't have a charger or anything on it. But we changed the acid. Got everything in there. And the residual is off of it. And we are sitting at a 12.80. So we effectively saved this battery as well you can see it didn't it didn't fluctuate there but this is a die hard and what was the date on it i didn't see the date sticker on it and i don't see anything stamped anywhere here but it was like a 2011 battery i'm pretty certain i could be wrong but i'm looking here on the tags to see if i see anything else but i don't Either way, it was it was a, a junkyard battery, and it had very little to no charge in it. I was kind of concerned about it. I mean, I think it had a 2.98 or something when I got it from the scrapyard, and either way, changed it all out. And as you can see in my other videos, that you can save these. And, you know, while some people may not recommend using these specific batteries for your solar battery bank, I'm telling you right now, that they do work you can use them as a get by thing and if you can get them for relatively cheap they will work and you don't have anything to worry about you may not get as many cycles out of them or anything but at the price that i have into these batteries i have 10 batteries here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten right down there and they're hooked to my my Renogy Rover, and I'm at 100% right now, but uh, I've just got them wired in parallel at the moment, but these batteries do work. These four over here are the original ones I've had. I've had these for about three months now. They're a little dirty, and uh, you know, nothing big, though. Somebody actually had them on a solar system before, and I happened to walk into the scrapyard when they were getting rid of them, and then I found these other two, which were identical to it, um, on a Facebook marketplace there, and they are all group 27 deep cycle, so 27 DCs is what those are, and then this one right here, I actually bought brand new, so this is, this is the only one in here that I spent more than $20 on, the rest of them I have $20 or less into. And I have 10 of them now. The only two that are not the same. This is a group 29 right here. And I happened to find that at the scrapyard the weekend before this one. And, you know, cleaned it up. And I actually, I didn't change the acid out of it. I just cleaned it out. And I strained the acid. And it worked just fine as well. And actually, I, I could probably, well, I don't have a lot of time left on this video. But it's it's been working just fine. I'd test it, but it's still hooked to this other battery over here. If I'd have been thinking, I'd unhooked it. But, you know, watch the part uh, one through four on how to clean these, exactly what I did and how I changed the acid out. And that's all I did. And I've had those four in the corner in service now for about three months. These two have been about a month. And these right over here are just short of a month in service or pretty close to a month. But I have a, the group 29 and I have a group 24. And that is the only differences I have in here. But they're all deep cycle marine batteries. They're not marine cranking batteries. There is a difference. 
But either way, I just wanted to show you that right there, show you that it does work. This has been charged and has has been sitting and has not lost a charge. So we're gonna hook it back up and get it back in the bank and uh, go from there. But just wanted to show you, you can do it. It can be done. The charge does work. And changing the acid works out as well. Just make sure you clean them real good. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.